Greetings, friends. Uh, this is Samuel Kitalia from Uganda, and um, I hope you're doing well uh, despite the circumstances, um, the COVID situation. I know it's been quite difficult for you all, and uh, it's an issue that is affecting the whole uh, world globally. Rather, it's a, it's a, a very difficult issue. So, um, yeah, we're still praying for you, and, um, and we know that you're praying for us as well. Just to be able to um, uh, adjust in the situation which has turned out different um, with our program, but we are still obviously running. And um, just we're just praying that the Lord will give us the wisdom on how to sort of navigate around the, the situation and you know, that we don't get stuck anywhere. So schools are still closed, obviously. Uh, the home is partly uh, active because some of the children went back, they were sent back, but um, we had some who stayed, but we've just had uh, lots of, uh, you know, sad stories about some of them actually getting pregnant, unfortunately, while well, they were out there, and some of them, uh, we believe, uh, were under the influence of their relatives, obviously, have been into witchcraft, and that has also become a big problem. So the schools we, we the schools are still closed. They only op, uh, allowed us to open for candidate classes, and um, that means like if uh, some like children from primary school going to secondary school, if they'd be sitting for their national exams, that's the only group that we allowed, or even uh, candidates who are moving from senior four or O level to A level. Uh, that, and a level to university, so that's the only group that is allowed. So we uh, we run together with my wife this program, and this is um, uh, obviously uh, with different activities. We have the clinic, we have bushfire clinic, we have uh, bushfire uh, vocational school, vocation, uh, primary school, and the secondary school, and we have uh, bushfire churches. We have about four congregations with uh, nearly over 700 members uh, so we we do uh, quite a number of uh, activities out there and you have been a part of it for years and years and we're so grateful for the uh, the cross church uh, beckenham family uh, which has really been uh, standing with us all these years um, even um, even during this crisis, I mean, this has been just amazing for you to be able to stand with us and to help us walk through it. Uh, it's been tough. So we've been able just to make sure that we can um, prepare for what is coming next because I don't think things are going to be as easy uh, as, it, they, uh, as, uh, as it may look, but it seems like it's going to be quite a challenge uh, having to make sure that none of us, none of our children actually gets infected by the virus. So we had uh, uh, we had some of our children going back, unfortunately, during those, um, uh, the COVID uh, lockdown. And um, uh, they had issues. They had a few challenges, some of them getting pregnant and some of them just disappearing from the village. And we believe it was actually uh, the difficulties that they were facing out there and um, but we are doing our best just to make sure that we can actually follow them up so we're following them up those who have got pregnant and those who were sent off in some to stay with people that we didn't know uh, we were trying to we're trying to follow them up because um, I, I believe because of the pressure some of the relatives uh, who had those children back into their homes just couldn't afford to look after them so the government has encouraged us to get them back and we are also quite ready we've been uh, we've started visiting and making sure we can uh, uh, see uh, how they're doing and then uh, make sure that we can bring them back otherwise we 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 had uh, we've had quite a big challenge just seeing some of them engaged in witchcraft because of the influence uh, and the pressure from the relatives who just forced them to do it. So um, we are yet to see schools, old schools, uh, um, kind of reopened, but it's, it hasn't happened yet. And that means we may just have to make sure we can actually run the home 
and keep the children safe from uh, uh, all this kind of the pressure of them getting into um, witchcraft or being forced into marriage or, uh, or that, that kind of thing. It's, it's not really, yeah, it's not very easy out here. <laughs> so it's a, it's a land that is so much into witchcraft and uh, a lot of Muslims and they do practice almost every home they'll be practicing witchcraft and they that's what they believe in to bring them prosperity to bring them uh to strengthen their families which is obviously a lie so uh they are preaching the gospel through the various means and reaching them out um and helping and supporting is one of the ways that we try just to make sure that we can uh reverse or rather divert them from that course of destruction through witchcraft and also uh, unwanted uh, or forced marriages for especially for the girls out here who have been actually forced into you know marriage at the age of 12 13 and 14 yeah which is uh, quite sad so we would appreciate uh, that you pray with us that the schools will be uh, will resume will reopen and also to uh, to be able to to be safe from any kind of uh, contact with the virus in a in a, in a community that, like ours, which will be obviously bigger, especially when all the kids are back and um, in the home. Um, so we would appreciate your prayers because we're we're trying to do our best, even for the older kids right now, to engage them in small scale uh, enterprises. Uh, which we are trying to set up like this, uh, as you may be aware, we're trying oil um, uh, processing and also uh, growing rice and maize and just engaging them even in farming as much as we could. And also just to, we encourage them just to keep studying, you know, having private studies as well. So we would, uh, we, we thank you for having worked with us through the time uh, that we've just been through a lot i mean it's been uh, quite tough during this time to adjust and you know a lot of pressure um just knowing uh, mean trying to understand what comes next but i think uh, god has been amazing so and you have been a blessing to us for many years and you still do and especially in time of need we've just you've just stood with us uh you know we just thank you so much uh, all the Christ church beckenham family and uh, all the leaders, we just appreciate you for being so uh, friends to us and a blessing to such a large community. So we, I mean, the, the challenge is still big, but I know by his grace and our teamwork, I think, has, is working really well. So all the best for you as well as we continue to pray for you, uh, for your country. Uh, we would also appreciate that you pray for us as well, you know. I don't think anybody really has the answer, but the Lord has. I, we believe the Lord has the answer for all this pandemic and all the crisis and the changes that are coming about. And I think we're praying that we will know how to adjust and how to navigate around the issue, the 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 the, the circumstance, so that we don't necessarily waver, but we want to go grow stronger. Um, and we we encourage you to you know, uh, because I think the scriptures are coming true. we in the last days. But this is the time when there's going to be a shift and we also need to know which way we're going with him. Uh, so may the Lord bless you and uh, uh, we'll keep in touch. Uh, just and thank you because we are actually trying to do our best, you know, doing some farming and uh, crops are doing well so far. And uh, nobody has been infected by the virus and we have not had any really serious cases even in our district, which is a good thing. So we hope you'll be able to, um, to to stand with us through prayer and also as you continue to hear from the Lord, as, you know, how he directs you in um, terms of uh, how you can be a part of this. Yeah, sorry, I think this video has been a bit too, too long. I was uh, <laughs> supposed to be a little bit more brief, but there's so much to share about. But I hope you'll bear with me. May the Lord be with you and uh, as we continue to uplift each other in prayer before the Lord. So God bless you. We love you so much. And greetings to all your families. Bye.